Welcome to Perpetual Fitness Training. My name is Holly. I'm going to be your instructor today. For our next spotlight video, we are going to work on those biceps. So it's all biceps, just about 12 minutes of biceps. We're going to get through this real quick, and then you're finished with that muscle group. So have some bicep weights nearby. You can have a chair. You can do these standing as well. I'm going to be demonstrating sitting. Play up that loud music. Let's get going. All right, if you're ready, make sure those weights are nearby. I have multiple levels of weights. You can see I have some backup little weights as well, just in case it all gets too heavy. This format is going to be 30 seconds of work with a 30 second pulse. That pulse is gonna be killer. So if you need to, that's where you can drop the weight or go ahead and grab that lighter weight. We will be doing all of these one time through and then we're gonna go through and do it a second time. So feel free on that second round to lighten up that weight if it feels too heavy. Let's go ahead and get started. The first one is just going to be a curl, just a good old fashioned curl. And then we're gonna pulse right here, just right in the center. So go ahead and find the weight. I'm gonna start brave. I'm gonna start with my heavier weight. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts. Sitting up nice and tall. It's a very quick break between the rep and the pulse. We only have about five seconds. All right, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Lift that heart, bringing the hands toward the shoulders with the elbows glued into the side. So your elbows aren't away from the body. I want them in glued in tight right against your side waist. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. Now I see a lot of people that just drop the weight right here. You need to be in control, not only because it's better for the muscle, but it's better for the joints as well. All right, holding for a little break. Get ready for that pulse right here, pulse. So you can take those five seconds and you can just hold or you can take the break. <laughs> Either way, it's uh, the holding will make it more difficult. Ooh, 15 seconds, we're only halfway through. It's all right, we got this. Lift that heart. Almost there, four, three, two, one. Quick break. All right, so now we're just going to do the upper part of the arm. 90 degrees, up, stop at 90, up. Perfect, lifting that heart, keeping those shoulders down. That tummy's nice and tight. You're just breathing, feeling those muscles getting stronger. I'm definitely feeling those muscles right now. Now pay attention to your back. If you're really noticing that you're using your back, then I want you to lighten up those weights. Okay, right here, pulse. So lightening up the weights will take some of that pressure up and then you can readjust and make sure that your posture is good, that you're in good position. on that music. Maybe sing along, distract yourself. Two, one little break. All right, so now we're just gonna do the lower part of the body or the, <laughs> the biceps. I'll get it out. I know what muscle group we're doing. Again, relax the hands. They're just holding the weight. You're not try trying to reshape that metal. Just holding. Don't move faster than your breath. Take a big inhale on the way down, a big exhale as you come up. All right, coming into 90. Pulsing right here again. Woo! This is a challenging one. Pulses really, to me, just really make things challenging. Pulses and holds. Woo! Breathe through it, lifting that heart. Oh, did you see me? I'm starting around. <laughs> I'm definitely fatiguing. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Three, two, 
one. Next up, we have an open curl. So in an open curl, I like to go a little wider. Squeeze those blades. It comes to the side, full range of motion. So if you hit that chair, move sideways on your chair. Squeeze those blades. Arms are out to the side. Just opening up as much as you can. Those elbows are absolutely glued to your side waist. 10 seconds. Little break. You know what's coming next. Pulse. Open and pulse. Shoulders stay down. Fingers stay relaxed. Working deep into that biceps muscle. So just like in the previous workouts, the spotlight workouts where we go through this twice, if the first time through you're finished, you can go ahead and be done. You can take a break. If you weren't challenged enough, then you can go ahead and do that second round with me. If that wasn't challenging enough, well, I'll go ahead and do it again. <laughs> and release. All right, we have a concentration curl. So bringing the elbow into the side of the knee, just squeeze up and come all the way down. You can place this other hand either up on the shoulder if you like. I just usually place it on my leg. I'm not lifting so heavy that I'm worried about stabilizing my shoulder. But do keep the shoulders down, that tummy nice and tight. Nice flat back, I don't want you to round here at all. Hinge at the hip, not rounding through the spine. Can you guess what's next? Anybody, anybody? Pulse. Oh, I'm gonna be pulsing my sleep tonight, I think. Oh. I'm definitely gonna feel these muscles tomorrow, and this is just the first round. Breathe with me. Don't worry if your pulse isn't super fast, it doesn't need to be. It's just this little movement, an inch up and down. All right, now because we have two arms, we have to do that other one. Elbow into the soft part of that knee, nice and long, relax the other shoulders down. So again, anytime you're doing these bicep curls, you want that elbow stabilized. So either onto your side waist or this is onto our knee. Just give that joint a little love. It's the only body we get. We really need to be careful with it and take care of it. It's gotta last a long time. All right. The P word, pulse. This is gonna be a swear word, I think, by the end of this last round. How's your belly? Is it tight? Is your back nice and flat? Those shoulders are relaxed. Breathe, breathe. This is the last one and then we're gonna start again. Three, two, one, come on up. All right, back to curls, our very first one. Lift your heart. Blades together, up and down. All oh, these feel so much heavier. <laughs> so much heavier. If all you have are light weights and you can't get heavier weights, you either don't have room or can't afford it, this method is a great way to take light weights and make them feel so much heavier. Just do that pulsing. All right, little break, 90 degree, pulse, perfect, heart lift, squeeze those blades, space between your chin and chest, singing along with your music, sing loud, distract yourself, but keep that form, not too distracted. Woo, you feel that burn? Oh my goodness. I definitely feel it more in the left than in the right, but I'm right-handed, so. Oh, upper, upper only. Here we go, all the way up, down. Stopping at that 90. Oh, just think how nice your arms are gonna look after this. 
It's a great way to tone those arms, getting them ready for the short sleeves. That's spring and summer coming up. Spring here is quite warm, I know. I grew up in Washington State, spring is not warm. But here, spring is warm, so we're gonna be in those short sleeves in no time. Little break. And pulse, which is strange because last week was the snowmageddon of Texas, and we got down, wind chills were negative 15. I don't think we've ever seen those kind of temperatures here. It was crazy cold here. And we're just not, we're just not prepared for that kind of weather. We really never get that weather here. So it was, it was quite the disaster. Power loss and pipes breaking, no water access, and people having to boil their water and couldn't get groceries. It was, I'm glad it's over. And break. Oh, oh, almost didn't make that last one. Readjust. Lower, lower half. So it would have been fun, you know, a week, the kids had a week out of school. It would have been fun because we had snow all week. I've never seen snow stick around that long. It just kind of kept snowing. <laughs> uh, it would have been a lot of fun had we had power so that when they played in the snow, they could come in and, you know, warm up, <sighs> shake it out. All right, 90 degrees, oh, lift your heart. You got this, come on. Even if you drop those weights, that's all right. Keep pulsing. Try to relax the grip. I notice I'm starting to really feel it. So that's when I start really kind of uh, bearing down on the weights. Relax the grip. Keep that chest up, those shoulders down. Just give me what you can. If you need a break, feel free to take it. This is tough. Three, two, one. All right, so next up we have that open curl. We're gonna go a little bit lighter. Lift your heart, 90 degrees, squeeze up and down. So you're at the side with those elbows nice and tight. Just have to readjust a little bit so I don't hit my bench. <sighs> Space between your chin and chest. Try to keep that heart up. <sighs> Smile if you can. You're feeling those muscles. I know you are. It's your muscles getting stronger. You should be celebrating that. That's why you're here. That's why you're taking the effort in doing this. <sighs> little break. Up tall, 90 degrees, pulse. Woo! Next up, we have the concentration. So, oh, yay, we have two more. Two more exercises, and then we are finished. Line up that grip, shoulders down, space between your chin and chest. Breathe, just breathe. Oh, goodness. All right, concentration curl. Let's see if I can do this with any knee. One hand, shoulders down, flatten your back, push that chest out, pull that belly in nice and tight. Take your time, there's no rush. You're getting to this when you can. Just make those moves very deliberate, very thoughtful, nice and slow. Keeping that wrist straight, you never wanna tuck that wrist in or let it flop open. I want it to like you have a brace on and you can't move that wrist. Little break. <laughs> Lighter for me for that pulse, here we go. Keep pushing that chest out. Stay focused. How's that belly, is it in nice and tight? I don't want you to let that belly go. breathing. Oh goodness, I didn't think that was ever going to come. Switching. Here we go. Shoulders down, flat back, belly tight. And then this opposite shoulder will tend to kind of, because you're kind of slump into it, I want you to stay lifted. Just think about lifting up and out. Easy grip. Keep breathing, keep breathing. One more. All right, you guys, this is it. This is the last one. 
pulse. You're gonna make it through these next 30 seconds and you should feel good about what you were able to accomplish today. This one's really tough, at least for me. I find pulses to be very difficult and a real challenge for me. That's why I like to throw them in. I get very bored with workouts, so I'm always doing something different every day. And I just figure everybody else is like me too, so <laughs> I figure you don't wanna do the same thing all the time. And release, oh, thank heaven, shake it out. All right, we're gonna take those palms together, fingertips away, you're gonna open up nice and wide and then start to drop the arms as you pull those shoulder blades together. When you feel the pull through the biceps, just hold it right there. Oh, it goes all the way down on my wrist. It's a great stretch. And really, sorry, just shake it out. All right, thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this session, go ahead and hit like. If you would like to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. Leave me comments. I'm happy for some feedback. I want you to have a blessed day. I'll talk to you later.